Hello everyone and once again welcome back to another tutorial video. Right, so let's be honest, Kahoot can get boring and repetitive sometimes, both for the teacher and even for the student. But alternatives do exist, namely quizzes. So let's learn how we can make such a quiz on this application. Opening the quizzes page on a browser will lead you to a login page similar to this one where you can log in with your previous quizzes account with the Google account on your browser, your Microsoft account or your email. Alternatively, you can create a new account with the sign in option with your email. After logging into your account, you should be met with a page just like this with the quizzes you played recently shown here. Right below that are a few popular quizzes played by a lot of people recommended for you, separated into separate categories of subjects based on the previous quizzes you either took or made before. There is an almost limitless number of creators on quizzes, altogether making an equally limitless and amazing plethora of amazing quizzes, which might never end, but this video must. So today we will only learn how to make a quiz. The first step, click this button right here. Next, you obviously have to get a name for your quiz as well as picking an appropriate subject so other people may be able to identify your quiz. After that, adding the question is as simple as typing the question yourself. For creating your own questions, there are a few types to choose from. The first of which is multiple choice. Simple as it sounds. Simply type your question up here and the options for the answer down here. Then, take one of them to indicate which one is the correct option. You can use the f of x function to add a math equation for a question, or this icon here to add an image, audio file, or video. This also applies to the options. Next, select the amount of time allowed for each question. And you can even add an answer and explanation to be revealed after the question, before finally saving and inputting the question into the quiz. The other types of questions you can input are checkboxes, similar to multiple choice, but more than one answer can be chosen to indicate the correct answer. Fill in the blank, poll, and open-ended questions. Fill in the blank allows the students to answer a direct question, where they will get a correct answer if it is among the correct choices you input it here. You can either make it that the student will get the correct answer if their answer contains this exact word here, among other words, or it must only contain these words. A poll is exactly the same as a checkbox, but without a correct answer, as it is only for the teacher to survey the student's answers. Open-ended allows the student to make long paragraphs or sentences that the teacher or quiz maker will have to check manually themselves. Alternatively, instead of creating your own questions, you can even use someone else's questions in a previously made quiz that is public by using the teleport feature. To do that, you can click this button right here, click search, type the name of the quiz you want to copy a question from, click the quiz you want, and pick the question you want to add to your quiz. When you are done making all the questions you want, click this button here to have the option to upload it. Quizzes then gives you the option to customize the theme and background of your quiz when it will be played by clicking this button here. You can add an image from the file as a background for your quiz, or add a link to an image on the internet to be inserted. Select the language of the quiz, and the applicable grades this quiz is made for, before picking who this quiz can be visible to, before finally actually uploading it. The following link will then allow you to share people the quiz that they can play on their own. So. That's about it for the basics of quiz making on quizzes, a useful instrument for making learning just that bit more enjoyable. Stay tuned for more videos and don't forget to check our other videos on our channel. See you next time.